Hey guys, uh, today I'm out at the Hatchachubi Creek Park and a uh, little park that's four or five miles away from the house. And cool little place, they got a big open parking lot where you can uh, practice flying the drone and stuff. So I, I came out here to do that today, but it got a little too windy. So I just wanted to talk a little bit. I've been thinking a lot about things and, and kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about you know why we decided to do this full-time RV life thing we did do a video on that and talked about that but you know it's hard to it's hard to relay the feelings behind that and there were some events that, that happened this week that uh, that got me thinking some more about that and uh, so I wanted to share that with you guys um, we've had a kind of a rough year this year with um, with losing people and, and relatives and pets and things like that um, we lost some family members and some friends and uh, just uh, recently in fact this last week um, got some news of another family member that was involved in a, in a car accident and uh, she's not going to recover from that and, uh, and you know I was watching um, the touring taste buds this morning on their live Instagram uh, feed and they were actually in Kansas and they were at a memorial service for one of their family members and uh, I mean I work in a hospital too so I see this kind of stuff all the time and uh, you know it's just always a constant reminder of that you know you don't know when your time is is gonna be up you don't know what's gonna happen next and so what I'm not I'm not telling any of you to, to, to drop what you're doing and go full-time RV in right now and don't follow our dream but you know follow your dream but be smart about it I mean don't just risk it all and risk you know being homeless and and be smart but you know you got to take some risk too I mean take some risk if you have to um, but be smart take care of your family uh, get yourself in a, in a decent position but you know I mean if you if you don't take those risks you know I, I fear that that you'll regret it later and Leslie and I are walking away from man we're walking away from what most people would would think is like insane to walk away from I mean we're gonna be walking away from big salaries and a nice house and a, a good place to live and things like that for this and but you get these reminders you get these reminders that you know if you don't Take advantage of the opportunities that come uh, you might regret it later and I think that we would regret it later if we didn't at least try it and you know maybe we'll try and maybe we'll fail uh, but we're at we're at a point where we can at least give it a try you know Lauren's getting ready to graduate from high school and then she's gonna go off to college and so if we fail it's not like we're gonna be homeless and have a kid that we can't support I mean it'll just be us and you know if we get into a bind we'll just slow down a little bit and we'll stay at places a little longer and well maybe we'll work camp or maybe we'll get some part-time jobs um, so I mean I don't think failure is part of the equation but uh, we have to take a little bit of risk in it and I think it's gonna be worth it I think it's gonna pay off um, but man you just never know what's gonna happen and you know I've seen I've seen family members um, that, that pass away and I don't know 
if they felt like they um, did everything that they wanted to do in the time that they had. And are they or were they lying on their deathbed and wondering if they made all the right choice? I think we're all going to be in that situation. I think no matter what you do, you're going to have some thoughts about did I do it right? Did I make all the right decisions? Was I a good enough father or parent or brother or whatever? But I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I just feel like um, life's too short to not take some, some risks and some chances. But just be smart about it. I mean, we're being, I think we're being smart about it. I mean, some people think we're just walking away from too much, but uh, I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to work every day and I don't want that to be my life. And I feel like I've been given some second chances. Um, I've had some close calls um, where it could have definitely gone the other way and I couldn't, uh, there's a possibility that I could not be here. And there are people who were with me in those scenarios who are not here. And I'm not going to go into detail on that, but um, you know, any of you who who have have served and been in the military in combat situations and things like that, I mean, um, there are scenarios where you're not really sure why you were the one to get to come home. And uh, I mean, if you if you're the one who got to come home, and you get to come home and you just go back and do a do a job and work eight hours a day or more and back and forth to work and same old grind and two-day weekends and and hating your job and you know not getting to spend as much time with family and friends and and getting those experiences I mean I don't think I got a second chance or a third chance or however many chances that I've gotten I don't think I got all those extra chances to just go to work for the rest of my life so i'm not gonna um if you have the opportunity to to do something like that smartly you should do it so i'm not telling you to take unnecessary risk i'm not telling you to risk it all but you get those windows of opportunity and you know if you plan it right i think it, it can work out and i think we're in our window of opportunity as soon as we get Lauren off to college and uh, and we're gonna do it um, we're probably gonna be heading down to to Florida in the next couple of days uh, for a memorial services or funeral arrangements um, for the person that that we are, have lost and uh, by the time this posts I mean that will probably be over and we will probably be back because of this one probably pro won't post um, this video probably won't post uh, for a couple weeks but I was feeling this today so I wanted to record it today while I was feeling this and I uh, you know drove out here uh, to just fly the drone around and and just reflect a little bit so wanted to share some of those thoughts with you guys uh, I think two things that are really therapeutic for me is uh, for some reason and I don't know why but um, one of those things is, is talking to to this camera and sharing it with you guys and uh, I hope that it helps someone think about the things that they might not have thought about and uh, I mean I we definitely don't want to be the reason that anybody's going to take any risk that's going to get them in trouble or that's going to cause them any hardship in their life but we do want to be some type of an inspiration for those people who hit those windows of opportunity and are thinking about pulling the trigger and the benefit outweighs the risk you know we want to be part of the inspiration that helps you pull that trigger and and go and do it but do it smartly um, and the other thing is you know uh, we just got a better drone and flying the drone and seeing some of the views that you can see with that um, that you don't normally get to see uh, is, is pretty therapeutic and just going through the editing process of these videos and watching some of that stuff back and um, I haven't shared any drone footage yet, but uh, this video will be the first one 
that I think I'm going to share some some of the drone footage. Um, we've had a drone in the past that we got some footage from, but it wasn't that great of a drone, so I never shared that because we don't want to share quality stuff. And we did upgrade drones, and we have a better drone now, and so I wanted to share some of that footage. But really, the the basis of this video today is just to tell you that um, you know you don't know what's going to happen, and uh, you have to make those decisions in your life. Uh, we've already made it in ours, and, and there's uh, no going back now. We, we're already um, we're already going to pull the trigger, and we're going to do it. So we hope that you find that moment in your life to do what makes you happy, and we hope that you have the courage to pull that trigger and to do it. And um, there are other there are other folks out there uh, that are doing it too. So you know, look throughout YouTube, and then. Uh, find that inspiration find that inspiration in family members um, there are going to be some some naysayers and people that are always going to tell you that you're going to fail um, but you know throughout my life that's kind of been a driving force for me is when people tell me that I cannot do it or that I should not do it um, as long as it makes sense to me in my mind and it, it's logical and it's a good decision and it's not going to get me in a super bind um, I do it and it's turned out pretty well so far um, had a great career in the military and um, really just um, want to move on and and find some adventure and go visit family and friends and spend that time because not just do I not know how long I have I don't know how long that anybody else has so I want to go and spend time with with those people and with Leslie's family and friends and you know we want to meet new people and new friends and we've already done that um, through YouTube already and we haven't even hit the road yet and we've already made some great friends on uh, through YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and people who have reached out and people who watch our videos and people who comment and um, who are inspirational to us also thank you all for watching and thank you for sharing your videos and giving us the inspiration to get out there and do that. We're gonna share some more video uh, footage of, you know, and talk about some of the people who have inspired us to do that. Um, and they're not all, they're not all on social media and things like that. Some of those people are family members and loved ones, but I just felt the need to share this with you guys today and I uh, hope this uh, reaches maybe at least one person uh, is having a bad day or is thinking about some of the same kind of things that I'm thinking about today and maybe it'll get you over that hump or get you thinking about you know what your future is going to look like and um, for some people staying home, staying in one place, staying close to their family and their friends who are close to them. Now some people's family, they all live in one, one space, so for, for them the dream might be to, to build a house or buy a house or stay where they're at and spend that time with their family and friends and loved ones. That's great. Um, do that. I, I, you know, I encourage you to do that too. I'm not saying that your dream has to be our dream. Our dream is to, to get out on the road and, and see a bunch of things and we have family that are spread all over the place. We have family in Florida and Texas and Missouri and Arkansas and we have friends from the military who are spread all over the country and we want to go see everybody and spend as much time with as many people as we can um, while we can so I would encourage you to follow your dream whatever that is and do what you have to do to make it happen you know put those plans in place now if it takes you three four five years that's okay don't have to be tomorrow but uh, start working on it now because you don't know how long you got you don't know how your family how you don't know how long you got. You don't know how long your family or friends have. So um, I don't even know how to wrap this video up, but I just say um, thanks for watching, and I hope you got something out of this video. It was therapeutic for me to talk anyway. So uh, even if nobody got anything out of it, I did um, because it's just it's helpful for me to to talk. So thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> That's a wrap. Bye.